All right, good morning, everybody. Good to be on with you today on this fine Monday. Welcome to the beginning of the week, first day of the week, Monday, uh, here at uh, on July uh, 24th. Uh, and uh, five, five months till Christmas Eve. I like it, love it. Uh, but anyway, uh, happy Monday to you. Uh, hope you had a great weekend. We had an awesome weekend in uh, church. Uh, and uh, so, so good. So, so blessed to be in the Lord's house. The Pensacola group did a great job. Uh, and good, good uh, singing, good message, and just a blessing to be in God's, God's house yesterday. If you were not able to make it, I hope that next Sunday uh, you'll be able to make it uh, for our church services. We've got a busy week this week. Uh, we've got, uh, obviously, church on Wednesday, uh, and we're going to continue our study uh, and look forward to, to jumping into our, our summer study there, looking at gender and marriage. Uh, and that's going to be tremendous. Also on Saturday, men, we've got our men's prayer breakfast. We also have the parade on Saturday as well, uh, and that is going to be at 4 o'clock, and we'll be meeting at 3 o'clock. Man, wonderful. It's going to be awesome getting the gospel into our community, and then we'll have services on Sunday uh, as well. And so, please, uh, please uh, keep all of that in mind. Be a part of these as you have opportunity uh, to uh, to be a part of them. Okay, now, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. And uh, let's look at verse number 1. We're coming down here to the end of Corinthians. And we've got two chapters left. Uh, chapter 15 is a little lengthy. Uh, but it's it's uh, very good. And I look forward to that. Okay, now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's begin here, verse number one, where the Bible says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. Okay, he's using, Paul's using that word brethren. So this is for, <coughs> excuse me, this is once again a reminder, this is for those that know Christ as their personal Savior. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. Two great thoughts here as we think about what Paul has done. Paul has declared the gospel. What a challenge for us. Uh, we are to be declarers of the gospel as well. And sharing with people the truth of God's word. Uh, and so important, that's, that's our calling in life. That's what Jesus has commissioned us to do. Uh, to share the good news of the gospel. Uh, and then, also, don't forget, or don't not forget, but we look at verse number one again. He says, which he preached unto you. Paul declared the gospel. He preached the gospel. And this is great as we think about a response to the word of God. Paul's preached it, and he says, which also ye have received, okay? What a response to the gospel to receive the truth of it, to when we open God's word, whether it be through devotions, maybe on a power up during the service, that we receive the word of God. And let me give you a couple of thoughts in regard to receiving the word of God. That means when you come to God's word that you are ready to receive it, okay? It means you are right with your Savior. You're ready to receive the, the word of God as it is presented. That means sin has been confessed. You've prepared yourself for the preaching of the word of God, and you've come in ready to listen. And then also, uh, I, I think that entails something else as well. Uh, we need to come in with the ability to receive the word of God, okay? Uh, listen, I get it. Life happens. I get it. Life is difficult sometimes. But man, uh, we, we got to come in alert, Okay, we can't come in expecting to take a nap, if you will, while the Word of God is being preached, okay? We've got to come in alert, and we've got to do everything we can to stay stay awake during the preaching of God's Word, because I mean, what's the point of coming into church and sleeping? What's the point of that? You can do that in your recliner. Now, I'm not saying... I'm just going to give up and just stay home. No, I'm not saying that. Hey, maybe you need to get up and go to the back and stand. 
Uh, we're talking about receiving the gospel here, receiving the word of God. We are we are missing what God wants to do in our life when we don't come in alert, when we don't come in prepared by having sin confessed and our heart being right with the Lord. We're missing uh, what God has for us. And then we see this also, and wherein, uh, and wherein ye stand, uh, and uh, having confidence, uh, the idea of standing, we... Uh, we see that uh, throughout the New Testament as uh, uh, in the passage where it talks about the putting on the armor of God and having uh, and having done all to stand. Uh, and so so we're talking about growth here. Uh, we're talking about uh, being willing to to fight the good fight of faith. Uh, and man, wherein you stand, it's not just in receiving the word of God, they're practicing and living the word of God. Reminds you of James where we're encouraged to be not just a hearer of the scriptures, but a doer of the word of God. And that's really what Paul is referencing here. He says, man, you've received the word of God. You're standing, you're confident, you're growing, you're living. Uh, you're living what is being preached. And that's what Paul is encouraging uh, for uh, the church here at Corinth, okay? Uh, and so when we come to God's word, uh, do we receive it? And then are we growing in it? And then thirdly, hey, are we preaching the word of God? Uh, and we're commanded to. Jesus, before he ascended into heaven, he said to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Uh, and then we're to receive it. And then we're to practice it. Uh, and what powerful truths for us today. I think I think just, just along these lines, many people are okay with receiving God's word. Many people will come into into church. They'll say, "Hey, that was a great message, man. It was good to be in God's house." But on Monday, they don't practice God's word. And so, I want to to encourage uh, the brethren here this morning to yes, come in receiving the word of God, and then let's live the word of God. And here's here's uh, how we know that that we are living the word of God, okay? Because we are preaching the gospel. Now, I'm not saying everybody gets up behind a pulpit and preaches. That's not for everybody, I get that. But what I am saying is this. When we are preaching the word of God, it's it might be as simple as giving a gospel tract. Uh, maybe presenting the gospel to somebody. Uh, maybe even also uh, it would uh, entail... Uh, the the preaching of the word of God is kind of involved in the practice of the word of God. It's it's your testimony. It's how people perceive you. When people see you, do they see Christ? Okay. And so verse number one. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, wherein also you stand. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, where which also you received, and wherein ye stand. Great verse. Great encouragement this morning. We're going to kind of just end with verse number one there. Uh, and we'll get into uh, verse number two tomorrow. So let's do this. Preach, receive, stand. All three, the gospel. Preach the gospel. Receive the gospel. Stand in the truth of the word of God, the gospel. Okay? Uh, and we're going to end with that today. Let me greet those uh, who are on this morning. Hit that share button if you have not already done so, uh, so that others can can jump on and be a part of the Power Up throughout the day. Uh, Brian and Cindy, good morning to you. Thank you for being on. Uh, Cliff and Karen, good morning to you as well. Gene, good morning to you. And I agree with that. Time is flying by. 2023 is going by so fast. Uh, I agree with you there. Uh, and then Ruth, good morning to you as well. Thank you for watching today. Hope that you have a great day. All right. Uh, we'll touch base again tomorrow uh, and look forward to that. Uh, also, don't forget the other events of this week, as we have already said. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the warm weather uh, of this Monday.